How important is sex in a relationship? I posed this question and then put a bunch of scientific research in a video a year ago, and you would not believe the comments that I've gotten. Everything from how women don't want it and men have to beg for it to men being really considerate and wanting to connect with their partner to questions that actually say, why are we talking about sex when we should be talking about the spiritual connection that is deeper to a man and to a woman? So I wanna address some of these things today in the video, but first let's run the show reel. <laughs> okay, so first thing I wanna read is the one of my two most favorite comments. So this one, was said, sex isn't everything to a man or a woman. I would rather be in a great, healthy, strong relationship built on trust, love, and strong foundation. Let's be honest with ourselves. Anyone can get sex anytime and anywhere. Pay attention to people and respect your bodies and your worth. What I want to say about this is I saw a lot of comments about people valuing themselves, both wanting sex and leaving a relationship because they weren't getting it, but also valuing themselves and saying, hey, if I'm not feeling safe, loved, connected, secure, I don't want to have sex with somebody. I saw quite a few comments based upon stereotype of women never want it and men always want it. And that's also not true. I saw some comments that forgot about hormones. In other words, there are natural stages in both women and men's lives where sex becomes more difficult, more challenging, or less desirable. And all of that can be shifted. Now, now the first video I did, I actually researched a whole bunch of reasons why sex is important in a relationship, how it contributes to more happiness, to longevity, how it strengthens muscles, how it changes your hormonal system and how it really increases bonding. And this is my next favorite comment that I think is really important for all of us to hear. It says, hi folks. Funny thing, there's one thing that I seldom if ever hear about relationships between a man and a woman or between a woman and a man where intimacy is involved where two people of opposite genders have made the decision to spend their lives together. That one thing is a spiritual bond, wanting to be together because that is where they feel they belong, because it is immensely harder to imagine not being together. It's more than loving each other, more than liking each other. It is more like a need to be together. This does not mean that they cannot bear to be apart, but rather that they want to get back together when the apartness is done. In such a relationship, sex becomes more than a physical act. It becomes a celebration of the couple's togetherness and an expression of their joy in being together. Such couples enjoy sex, not just for the physical closeness and connection, I'm sorry, not just for the physical closeness or the emotional closeness, but at least as much, if not more, for the spiritual closeness and connection. Just being together is huge, and the shared intimacy is a layer of icing on the cake. As I understand it, Tantra teaches that it's man's nature to penetrate, to push forward, to explore, to solve and to grow, and that is a woman's nature to be penetrated to receive and to grow what she received into a greater version of what she received. Sadly, in today's world of electronic communications and instant gratification, spirituality seems to have been relegated to a seat at the very rear of the bus. Just my two cents. You all have a wonderful day. Best wishes. What I love about this comment is it speaks to the spiritual and physical connection that is so far beyond just the conversation of sex as an act. And what I see often in couples in relationship where sex is becoming a challenge is it's about this loss of bonding. It's about the loss of safety, of trust, of connection. It's 
So if you're having challenges with sexuality in your relationship, let's go back first to how do you create more emotional and spiritual intimacy? How do you create safety, trust, structure? Because if you want to look at divine feminine and divine masculine, right? Divine feminine needs a strong male structure, a place where she can feel safe. I'm not talking about control. I'm not talking about being forced. I'm talking about a place in which she is held that she feels nurtured and safe so she can come alive and express her true vibrancy and her true passion and her true everything in a safe container of love acceptance. So consider that. I'm curious to hear your comments below. I'm going to do a series of videos on this. There's much more to discuss. Until then, remember that you are loving, you're love, and you are lovable.